Today I will show you how to make this crazy time slice effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of Lil Tucker from his Half the Plot music video and here we can instantly start making the effect. Now you can use this effect in a bunch of ways. So the first way I'll show you is actually going to be a transition between two clips. So I'll transition maybe between this clip to let's say this clip. So I can cut between these two clips by pressing Ctrl Shift D, you know, it's just to know where to cut it. So uh, this will be the transition point right here. And to make this effect, you can can actually take both of your clips that you have or for my case I have the whole music video right now the longer amount of footage you have the better this is by the way this will be so much cooler if you have more footage so for me I have like about two minutes of footage of just little Tucka dancing and these girls dancing as well so what I can do is I actually can press ctrl D to duplicate everything I just did here and I will make it go up a bit and now I will right click and I will press pre-compose and here we can call it like slice I don't know I just like to call it like that. And let's press OK. And now let's get into the pre-composition. Now here it's going to be important to press Ctrl Alt Y. And here we can add the effect called S time slice now yeah this does require the software plugin so i'm very sorry about that with software plugin it's very easy to make this effect so we here i like to keep the slice duration to minus 90 although you can make it to you know 90 and it will be like the opposite but you could also make it 180 and it will time slice like this which also can look pretty cool but here I'm just going to keep it to minus 90. Now the most important part about this effect is the slice number. Now this will pretty much be, well, you know, the, the slice number, the amount of things will slice. So the more you make this go up, the more you will see this effect. And I sometimes like to even make it somewhere to 200, like even up, but you start to get this. Now this is really cool for those like TV glitch effects, like really cool for those type of uh, uses. But here we're not doing that. Although I'll show you that as well, but uh, here I actually like to make it around 100. Now I really like 100. I don't know. I feel like you just get to see the clips a bit more, but it just looks good. Now you could have added the S time slice also not on the whole adjustment layer, but you could have pre-composed every clip again like this, you know, we can call it like pre-comp and press ok and here you could have added it this you would need to do if there was not a lot of footage all right once you're done doing this little slicing you can go back to slice transition and now you will be like okay what do we do now this is just really random okay well what i like to do is i like to go back maybe right here we can press ctrl shift d we can delete the previous part and here we can actually press ctrl d to save this slice layer and let's just uncheck it we'll save this for a bit later on and what you could do here is well you could just use this little portion by pressing ctrl shift d as a little transition you could even use less of this you know you could lose use around like five to six frames this is actually not five this is a lot of frames maybe we could use like five six so it would look like this this would be a pretty cool transition just like that but you can see that is really slow so i don't like it like that what i like to do is i like to extend it a bit more so let's extend it around maybe here and that's going to be really cool and now we can press ctrl alt t to bring up the time remap and here we can press on this button and here we can go to the ending and press on this button and now we can bring the ending point a bit closer this will pretty much speed up everything from the pre-composition all right and now look how this will look it actually will look pretty simple but like a really cool transition like this and that i feel like that's a really really cool transition just to have like really simply like that and that's pretty much how i like to do this effect i would also recommend to maybe let's go back to the clip that we had like you know here and you could use like a couple of frames like this for example i can press ctrl shift d for a couple of frames and you could use this as a little glitch for your video so for example it just goes like this and it glitches like this although i would definitely probably recommend to still extend this a bit actually and here we can press ctrl d you know bring the first point and bring the last point and drag them a bit closer to have like a quick glitch like this in your videos like a little tv glitch almost like that so yeah you might want to even extend this time point even more to like maybe here it will look crazier like that so yeah that looks like a really really cool glitch so i just remembered one thing i am actually working on a presets pack called glitch presets and these presets will work fantastically for this type of style uh you know you could use these you know time 
warp time slice, you know, glitches, but you can also use some of these glitch presets to mix up in your videos. Now, I haven't released this pack yet. It's going to be releasing in a bit less than a month now. I, I've been talking about this pack for a bit now, and I am really excited to release it. And now a couple of effects you could add here would be, for example, just like a fast forward boards glitching. That's a really long name, but it would absolutely look incredible for these type of edits. So yeah, I would 100% recommend to add other types of glitches as well in your videos. Now, sadly, this pack is not out yet, but I just want to show you one preset from this pack just to show you what you could do with other glitch effects on top of here. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.